as we wrap up our Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Islander Heritage Month celebration, Eva Pilgrim sat down with musician turned author Michelle Zahner, whose memoir, Crying in H Mart, took over the New York Times bestseller list. And Eva, you and Michelle share a very special connection as well. I feel like we were long lost friends. We have so many shared experiences, both biracial, born to a Korean mom and an American dad. We talked about growing up with the two very different cultures and how our mothers shaped so much of who we have become. She's known by many for her band, Japanese Breakfast. But Michelle Zahner actually isn't Japanese. She's biracial, like me, both of us born to Korean mothers. We always had a table with two different dishes. So there would generally be an American meal for my dad and there would be a Korean meal for my mom and I would kind of eat between them. My mom would make like country fried steak for my dad <laughs> and there would always be like kimchi on the table. Yes. <laughs> In 2014, Michelle's world was turned upside down when her mother lost her battle with cancer. I think for me in particular, it was difficult because um, she died when I was 25 and that sort of around the time for a lot of mothers and daughters, I think, where um, after years of kind of teenage separation and battle, you begin to return to one another. And we're really just starting to get to that really beautiful place as mother and daughter when she got sick, when she passed away. Michelle chronicling her journey of loss and biracial identity in her best-selling memoir, Crying in H Mart, a reference to a popular Korean supermarket chain. Talk us through why H Mart was the title of your book, why it was so important to you. Shortly after my mom passed away, I was in Elkins Park eating at the H Mart food court. And I think I wanted to go there around the holidays because it felt like the closest I could sort of be near her subconsciously to just hear women that kind of dressed like her or spoke like her eating the things that we used to eat together and I found myself going to this grocery store more and more to kind of unlock these different memories of my mother. We tagged along with Michelle on a recent visit to H Mart. Okay. Mm -hmm. The good stuff. Oh, they put one more oh, spam out. Spam out. <laughs> oh my god. This is the one I have. Oh really? This mm -hmm. is the one I bring on tour. Crying in H Mart was recently released in paperback, reaching number one on the New York Times bestseller list. I never thought like as a as a half Korean American woman that my life was like particularly literary or that anyone would be able to relate to it because it's like such a niche thing. Um, and so it's really beautiful that people are able to come into this story from all different backgrounds and really see themselves in me in different ways. And Michelle is very busy currently working on the screenplay of the film adaptation of Crying in H Mart. White Lotus star Will Sharp is set to direct that. And she's planning to take a year away from the band, moving to Seoul at the start of next year to write her follow up book, guys. Good for her. Yeah. Look forward to that, Eva Pilgrim. Thanks so much for bringing us that interview. Great conversation. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.